Welcome to another episode in the series of short films highlighting new functions and application software in the EC Laser E Series alignment system. My name is Michael Turner and I'm an area sales manager at Damalini, manufacturers of EC Laser. Today we're going to talk about the E710 shaft alignment system. The E710 is the core component in what we call the total alignment solution. By total alignment solution, we mean a versatile system for all stages of the machine setup. It's not only a shaft alignment system. The E710 also allows you to check machine base and any bearing play using the standard equipment. With the addition of a few accessories such as the E180 BTA and the E285 vibrometer, you may also check vibration level as well as align shivs, belts and pulleys with your E710 alignment system. The E710 is a dual laser system. This has several advantages compared to, for example, a single beam system. The dual laser allows you to do a compound move. This is where you are doing the vertical and horizontal correction off of one set of measurement data, and there's no need to remeasure after correction. You may also use a coning technique of the lasers in, for example, long spacer shaft alignment or a carden shaft alignment. The system consists of measurement units, chain brackets, and the display unit. I'm going to align the motor shaft to the pump shaft. The motor is designated the movable unit, and the pump is designated the stationary unit. The E710 has application software for geometric, overall vibration, and shiv pulley alignment. Under the shaft alignment icon, you'll find software for horizontal, vertical, machine train, carton shaft, and soft foot. First, we have to enter the dimensions of the units that we're aligning. The distance between the two measuring units, the distance from the M unit to the first feet pair, and the distance between the two feet pair on the movable unit. In measurement mode, the system requires a minimum of three measurements. The first measurement can be taken anywhere on the circle. A minimum of 40 degrees total rotation is required. I will take the first measurement at three o'clock, the second at 12 o'clock, and the last one at nine o'clock. The system will calculate the alignment and move to presentation screen. Notice that since we're in 9 o'clock, the system automatically goes into live move mode. The measurement results are presented in one screen. To the left, the vertical misalignment is shown, angular and offset, as well as feet values. To the right, the horizontal misalignment is shown, angular and offset. The tolerance has been set to a predetermined built-in tolerance table based on the RPM of the motor, in this case 1750 RPM. We can see that the two shafts are misaligned both vertically and horizontally. I'm going to start off the alignment by correcting the vertical misalignment first. The E710 calls for 0 0.092 millimeter of shims added to the back feet pair. I'm going to raise the back end of the motor by adding one millimeter shims. Once the vertical position has been corrected, I will correct the horizontal misalignment. This is done in live move mode so that I can follow the movement of the machine. Once aligned vertically and horizontally, I will tighten the bolts on all four feet. Once the bolts are tightened, I will then proceed to rotate the shaft to the 12 o'clock position to update the vertical position of the motor. The machines are now aligned. We can save the alignment in the system. A PDF report is automatically generated and this report can be copied directly to a USB memory stick. As you could see using the E710 dual laser system, I'm able to align the machines in one move without remeasuring. 
Now that's precision alignment made easy. Remember, the total alignment solution allows you to check all of these points in one easy to use system. If you have any further questions, please feel free to send an email to info at Thank you for watching.